the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning friends and welcome to a time of scripture reflections. Today's scripture is Matthew 9 verse 27 to 31. I'll read it for you, kindly listen. As Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, crying loudly, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he entered the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be done to you. And their eyes were opened. Then Jesus sternly ordered them, See that no one knows of this. But they went away and spread the news about him throughout the district. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, this is an excellent piece of scripture that speaks on the subject of faith. You know, I often wondered and imagined about heaven that it is like a place having a geographical location somewhere in space, somewhere in eternity. But Jesus speaks differently when he says, the kingdom of God is within you. Which means the two places are separated not so much by space and time as it is separated by human perception. The book of Isaiah says the same thing in chapter 55 verse 8 that my thoughts are not your thoughts. Which means that Heaven is more like a realm or state of being than a place. And the only medium of convergence of these two worlds is faith. In scripture verse 28, Jesus tells the blind men, what, what do you want to know? Do you believe that I am able to do this? And in the Gospel of Mark, a similar scripture, he speaks to the blind Bartimaeus. What do you want me to do for you? Why does Jesus ask such questions? Brothers and sisters, Jesus can see the faith lying dormant in these blind men. And by asking the question, he is trying to revive that faith. And it is the spiritual blindness. Uh, it's not a spiritual blindness. It is the, the physical poverty that which is the blindness of this first people that helps them to respond to the call of Jesus in faith. And that is why Jesus has said in Luke chapter 6 verse 20, Blessed are you who are poor. Faith or the idea of God is implanted deep within us by God himself and it needs to be brought out or developed through contemplation and heart seeking. It's a lifelong journey. The more you put your head into it, the more you think about it, the more you live it, the bigger it becomes, the real it becomes. I'll give you an example about uh, 150 years back, imagine there was nothing called a TV, there was no device called TV and nobody had imagined about it and yet there were a couple of scientists who had this concept in their mind. The thing is they did not allow this concept to die and they held on to it through hard thinking. They, they kept on thinking about it until it crystallized and came to a 
वर्कशॉप लेवल एंड विथ फर्दर परसिवियरेंस दिस वंस अपॉन टाइम विच वॉज अ कॉन्सेप्ट बिकेम अ रियालिटी रियालिटी नॉट ओनली टू देम बट टू द एंटायर वर्ल्ड बिकॉज वी हैव अ टी वी टूडे फेथ इज सिमिलर Faith also, as I said, is implanted within us and needs to be developed through prayers, through Bible reading, through contemplation, and righteous living. And God is there to help us out. Brothers and sisters, what happened two thousand years ago is indeed history now. But fortunately, whatever happened has been is also a part of the scriptures. and today jesus is attending to us or ministering to us through these scriptures and trying to revive our faith also so it is prudent for us to evaluate our faith and know the real value of it often times we mistake up or confuse our faith with piety the fact is with all the faith which we really have we are not been able to even believe the very existence of god when the apostles and especially peter boasted about their faith jesus was prompted to preach them the gospel uh, not the gospel the, the parable of the mustard seed that is very implied that faith is such a rare commodity on earth that even if we possess a little bit of it we could say to the mountains we could do extraordinary things and see even to the mountains to displace itself and be relocated in some other place finally brothers and sisters let us accept the fact that only jesus knows the true value of our faith and the best place a best meeting place for jesus to work in our lives is not our highs not our victories but our brokenness our weaknesses our sinfulness so let's proudly open ourselves and show it to jesus and let him enter through it it is easy for him to enter through this brokenness so that he may build our faith through this joy to Oh 
joyful, joyful we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts and full like flowers before thee, opening to the sun above. Joyful, joyful. St. Lawrence. If you want to grow spiritually and know more about Jesus and his teachings, please subscribe to the channel. I am St. Bonaventure and if you enjoyed and learned something new, then please press the like button. I am St. Philomena and I want you to please share this video with your family, friends and all your WhatsApp friends. I am St. Thomas of Villanova and I want you all to comment a word or a scripture touch you the most watching this video. Hi friends, I am Saint Monica and today I want to encourage you all to press the bell icon mentioned here below in order to get notified about every new spiritual content on this channel. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay connected.